Hey guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome to another video on how to add a flickering light, a flashing light, whatever you want to call it, into your map. Super simple, uh, no scripting required either. Um, so let's jump into raiding and we'll figure out exactly how this is done. Okay, so here we have, you know, just a pretty basic light. Um, if you've not done much with lighting, then I will put uh, a link in the video description so you guys can go and have a look at um, lighting in a bit more detail. Um, it's nothing overly advanced, but it definitely you know, might help you. Um, so, you know, just to sort of set something like this up. Um, it's quite a simple one, though. All it really is, is two lights. I've got one light coming off. If I select the right thing. I have one light coming off, sort of like the model, um, which obviously is the one that people see, typically. And I've also got one just facing inside, just to make it look like, you know, lights actually coming off the um, off the bulb. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be selecting both of these. Of course, you know, you don't, Potentially, you know, you might not have two lights, you might just have the one. Select all the lights that you want to affect. So, um, in this case, I want both of these to be, um, both of these to sort of flash. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to my Entity Info over here. If you don't have this tab, then just right click at the top and go down to Entity Info here, and this will pop up. Now, what I need to make sure you guys have is a primary spotlight, okay? Um, I may be wrong here, I may have just, you know, not done it correctly myself, but I'm pretty damn sure that this can only be done with spotlights, not omni lights. Uh, omni lights are the ones that are like basically spheres. Spotlights, of course, are spotlights. So make sure you have primary type of spot. Uh, next, we're going to do is go come down to cookie parameters down here, and this is kind of where everything really happens. Now, just for this video, I have got a few values noted down just because I didn't want to risk having flashing lights in a video. Um, you know, I didn't want anyone having a seizure or anything like that. Um, you know, it is quite a, a potential thing that could happen. So for this, all I'm going to do is make a light that sort of slowly sort of flickers, okay? Okay, nothing too intense. So I'm going to go over to the death here under cookie parameters, and I'm just going to select cookie. Here, I put it over to the right one. Uh, cookie flicker 2, okay, so cookie underscore flicker 0, 2, select to that, and you can see it goes a bit weird, okay. So next what I need to do is change the value at the bottom here, which is a def tile, and we'll change this to 0. Um, change to zero. And now you'll notice the pattern that we see changes, okay. Now this now is where kind of the, uh, the flickering, if you will, kind of comes in. So, under, under the def scroll, you'll basically be playing around with these two values. Now, Please feel free to you know change these to what, whatever you like. Um, kind of just you know play around with them, see what happens. As I said though for this video, I do have two set of values just to keep the video kind of safe. So I'm going to use 0.05 for this one, and then for this one I'm going to use 0.1. So as you can see, it kind of fades in slower on the left, and then kind of pulses. I'm going to make that a little bit faster and change this to 0.1. Now you can see it's kind of a little bit more you know like a light flickering but nothing too intense and i'm just going to keep it as that um please you know feel free to sort of mess around with these um i have had some apps which you know are much much faster in terms of the way the light reacts um and of course you might want it much slower it kind of depends what you're going for and um, you know if you do want multiple lights doing different things go ahead you know kind of go wild with it but it's as simple as that guys um, it really is just these few values and of course making sure it's a primary spotlight so other than that, if you you know if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do I can there. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.